your little hair lip. You're listening. You're listening to the Dean Bundell Show on 102.1. Big morning today. Not only do we have porn star Maxine X on to talk about ball gags and leather outfits, but uh, Tim Hudak from the Conservative Party is here. Hello, Tim. <laughs> Those aren't our topics, Dean. No, I was going to let you interview her, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I figured I figured we'd just stick to the political <laughs> stuff with you. You know, we're always looking for you know good exposure, getting my name out there, but. Maybe not, not her. Nah, you know, yeah. she, she could be an option to run in, in, in Windsor because she lives in Windsor now, uh, nice and close to the border, so she can get her, her material over the border real quick. Yeah, yeah. Especially the one with the four four girls. It was illegal in Canada, so she could, she t- said she could set it. But you, she might be a, a big uh, big name for you down down in Windsor. She has, she has a she lot of fans. Yeah. yeah, big time. <laughs> I imagine she's got a website. And, yeah. Sorry, well, there you you want to see it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, me. We can't, you can't see it on radio anyway, Dean. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> One Del Show, 102.1 The Edge. Joining us on the uh, telephone is porn star, fetish porn star, Maxine X, everybody. Hey. Yeah. How's it going? How are you there, sweetness? I'm good. I'm so excited to be back on the show. Yeah, we're excited to have you on the show. You sent some, uh, right. some still photos of yourself, and i got to tell you, Todd brought up the fact you have never looked better. Oh, thanks. <laughs> It's a new look, dark hair and stuff like that. So. Yeah, why'd you go with the dark hair, Maxine? Was it, uh, were your, were <laughs> no. your fetishes tired of the, the blonde? You know, actually, like, I have a blonde fetish. I love hot girls with blonde hair, and I always wanted to be one. So I always did, dyed my hair blonde for, like, I don't know. It could have been, like, six years in different shades of blonde all the way up until my hair got damaged. So a lot of shades <laughs> of blonde right there. Your hair got damaged? Yes. Yeah. So, like, my hair is naturally black. I can't dye my hair that much. And and then I started to be like, oh, my God, my hair is getting so damaged. So I had to just do a whole 360. And I decided, in a way, like, I had it for so long that I needed a new look. And I needed a new, like, image. Well, you, you know, you, you, look, you, look, you look, well, notwithstanding your boobs, you look more natural. <laughs> No, but even the boobs look yeah. natural. Well, I though. mean, hello, those look like the biggest, <laughs> hugest, most natural boobs you've ever seen. They're the best. <laughs> you know what? Like, they're 34 double D, but, like, when I wear, like, dresses and everything like that, sometimes people, like, think that they're actually uh, real. But it's because it goes with my body because I have, like, I have bigger hips. So mm. it goes with my body. So. What, what she's saying, she has a great booty, too. <laughs> she's got a great oh, butt. the best. So how's the, how's the porn industry? <laughs> porn industry is always fun. I'm definitely, like, always into porn. So our last time that I shot, uh, I didn't actually shoot. I knew a Cambodian girl who dyed her hair blonde. Mm. And she's really cute. She's actually a stripper. And she wants to be a porn star, and I said I was going to help promote her and everything can like I, that. Can I ask you to do me a favor? Yeah. Try as hard as you can not to use the F word. Oh, yeah. Oh, silly. You I could forget. just say, you could yeah. say, you can use uh, fornicate, you can use oh, bone, yeah. you can use uh, take an old one eye to the optometrist. Sure. Right, 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 right. Hey, yeah, where'd you, so, so, so where do you find Cambodian strippers and convert them into porn? That I, I sounds like a great job, Cheetahs. to be honest. Cheetahs yeah. or Jason's. I know, because I was born in Cambodia, right? So I don't know too many Cambodians because I was adopted. So when I met her was, like, actually somebody referred her to me, and uh, he deals with strippers. So when I met her, I was, like, wicked, like another Cambodian girl. <laughs> And she's hot, and she wants to get into porn. So I was yeah. like, yeah. Is she a stripper right now? Yeah, she's a stripper right now. Where? Which, now, there's, in which, there's cheetahs, there's leopards, and no, there's she's Jasons. she's in Toronto. She's in Toronto. Oh, she have uh, four your eyes only or something, or the brass? I'm not sure, actually. Spearmint I'm rhino? Sure. <laughs> I'm not sure where she works, but I told her, like, her next shoot, we're going to bring her to Windsor, and we're going to promote her in clubs. Like, now we're going to do a store. Did I tell you about a store? No, you're doing a store down there? Yeah, an adult sex store, like, right on their main street downtown Windsor. On Oletta? Avenue. Yeah, yeah. Little Avenue. And the funny thing is, is there's not one adult store for like 20, 30 minute drive away. Well, that's not funny. That's just good business. <laughs> <laughs> I but want the in. The funny thing is, is we were wondering why is that? And then we kind of been getting 
um, an idea, like, because we're, we're just like strangers from Toronto, and we're just opening up a business, and everybody around there is like, oh my God, you are? They're like all like shocked, and I was like, really, this is so weird, because there's like four in the downtown core, like even a couple right across the street from from each other. I was like, how can you not have an adult store? How can anybody be scared of one? It's just for fun. And like Scott's been painting outside and he'll get like 17 people ask him, what's this going to be? What's this going to be? And so we were saying boutique. And then later on, we just started saying like it's an adult store. And this lady was walking with her kid and she was like, ah! like that and she started shaking her head and walking away we're like oh my god we're gonna totally wake up the neighborhood well i gotta ask you real quick <laughs> did you say there were 17 people who thought who stopped them yeah like, okay be like <laughs> I, I like people. your specifics no it's mm-hmm. good <laughs> yeah there was like like so like he'll come out there and he'll start painting and it's a big deal to open up in downtown windsor right yeah. And there's, like, a lot of bars and restaurants because... Well, I'll tell you this. Yeah. Downtown Windsor, Windsor itself is full of really good, hard-working, working-class guys. And yeah. it's a very depressed city. So if you can breathe some sexual life into it, yeah. uh, you'd, you'd be super, super famous. Oh, I think it's going to do really well because um, this summer I was working at a cigar shop. And I met, like, tons... Like, it was basically all men who were customers there. And, like, I was serving them. They didn't know anything about my like my industry or anything like that until the very end I started telling them that I'm quitting and I'm going to open up an adult store. They're like, <gasps> like that. And anyways, I made friends with all of them. And well, I guess so when you yeah. find out the cigar store waitress is actually yeah. a really awesome porn star. Sure. <laughs> I'm it's sure a, it's a pleasant you. surprise. Yeah. Hey, can you do this with the cigar, honey? Do you get that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Like, people were like, uh, they they had no idea, but at the same time, they were just like, probably like, they've never had a double D girl, like, waitress there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm.